morning my dear students i am your dr rahim ahmed today we are going to discuss about uh, optical fiber experiment and uh, what is the aim of the experiment you will check out the aim of the experiment is to find out the numerical aperture and acceptance um, angle of a given optical fiber apparatus what you have optical fiber cable and this this is a circuit board uh, we have op amp operational amplifiers okay so generally operational amplifier is a uh, amplify the voltage uh, now led light uh, it is emitting uh, light from the from there and uh, we are uh, connected there on optical fiber okay now these are the apparatus where uh, i have shown you that circuit board and uh, your uh, optical fiber cable cable is now uh, made with plastic so plastic cable we have here okay now i'll show you the experiment how to find out and uh, second uh, downside part what you are going to observe the photodiode uh, we are going to find out uh, uh, optical fiber lasses by using the second circuit okay now in this experiment i'll show you only the half of the part means uh, optical fiber numerical aperture and acceptance angle we are going to find out and uh, uh, next video i'll going to find out uh, uh, energy loss of a uh, optical fiber so i'll going to switch on and uh, i have uh, power supply have given there in the circuit and uh, from here we are getting here light see that uh, light intensity we are going to increase and decrease using this knob okay so you take out maximum intensity then uh, you have to connect here the optical fiber pipe so see this uh, by using the screw i have connected the optical fiber pipe other side of this optical fiber pipe it is connected here the scale okay so other side you will observe there your uh, light will come outside but uh, that uh, same intensity will not come out so we have less intensity will come outside uh, using that optical fiber um, we are going to find out the numerical aperture and acceptance angle very simple procedure to find out this optical fiber uh, uh, numerical aperture of the optical fiber and acceptance angle so here we have given here the two scales he is uh, they are given so one is for length another one is for so diameter see by using the so top circuit only uh, we are using we are not going to use downside circuit okay so this is the formula where he is given in the manual numerical aperture there is a two terms we have w and l okay w is for diameter l is the length length of the scale okay w is the diameter of your uh, light spot okay light diameter we are going to take out so where it is going to fall on the uh, uh, board okay Lo fall on the scale another scale so we have to say simply another scale we have to say using that numerical aperture we are going to find out the acceptance angle i theta so different uh, names uh, they have taken so that is sine inverse of na you will get the acceptance angle so this is about some uh, procedure he is given how to connect and uh, what is the steps to write out here okay clear now i'll show you this is the table uh, which is contains serial number and uh, your l is the length w is the diameter of your light and uh, by using that uh, formula na and theta we are going to find out na is a numerical aperture theta is a acceptance angle okay so that is the power supply on and uh, we have to check out and uh, intensity will going to increase highest intensity and that uh, light we have to connect it here optical fiber another end we have the scale okay the l in the formula numerical aperture l we are going to find out using the scale we have 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm 4 cm 5 cm you have in the graph you know that graph you have 1 cm 10 mm 10 lines smaller the lines you have so by using very easy to calculate that's why we have uh, here the graph you have another another plate i have taken plastic plate uh, there uh, it's, uh, it is uh, uh, attached with here the graph another graph when you are going to place out at 1 cm now you are getting some uh, light spot here you are getting a circular spot that circular diameter you are going to find out okay no need to find out uh, area of that uh, circle light spot just you find out the diameter how you are going to find out the diameter just you observe that so the area where it is covering the total light so diameter and diameter side you are going to find out how many small boxes are there see the diameter side you are going to find out how many boxes are there suppose imagine some 5 boxes 10 boxes you have okay length suppose 1 centimeter you have 10 boxes you have imagine 
example i am taking 1 cm so we have to place out on the scale you are getting w is 10 cm you got the diameter of that spot then you write down at uh, w 10 cm length is 1 cm we have placed now we will go for the 2 cm ok now the scale and the one end we are placed at on the uh, scale we have placed here 2 cm now what happen when you are going to move away from that spot uh, that light the spot diameter will, will going to increase see when i go for the 2 cm maybe it will come 20 to 20 uh, diameter will come diameter diameter means on the diameter how many boxes you count down that is a way easy you are going to find out the diameter of that spot okay every time no need to use another scale and calculate the diameter so and now go for the second and third and using that uh, third you have to take out 3 cm fourth you have to take out 4 cm 5 cm that is the way increase the length and find out the diameter of your other spot see that i have taken here 3 cm now the spot diameter is increasing 5 cm spot diagram is increasing okay so now you have to take out the brighter the diameter you take out don't go for a blur diameter means with the spot exactly clearly we are going to observe for this you need a dark room uh, but here uh, i haven't taken any dark room if you go for the dark room you are getting proper exact intensity you will get on the uh, spot that di diameter easy to find out that is the way we are going to take out five readings we are going to take out length versus diameter by using this length and versus diameter you are going to find out uh, using this formula ni equals to w by so uh, here the formula we have w by l square uh, 4L square and W square we have the formula and that using that we are going to find out the numerical aperture so as well as we are going to take out using this uh, numerical aperture uh, we are find out the theta theta equals to sine inverse of Na so very easy experiment to find out the uh, numerical aperture and, and acceptance angle theta by using these two formulas we are going to take out okay clear so a uh, very easy experiment and uh, we know that numerical aperture is the uh, light gathering capacity of the light okay so now where the light will going to fall the total internal reflection will going to suffer here the light so the average of Na and uh, theta we will take out and uh, we have to place out in the result okay so generally we will get here 0 0.3 0 0.4 you will get numerical aperture in points only you are getting theta you have to take out the average uh, you will get here 30 degrees 40 degrees you are getting more is the angle more is the acceptance correct or not light acceptance is more means more data will going to travel uh, inside the that that optical fiber pipe means so more is the angle more is the data will going to transfer more is the light will going to suffer total internal reflection okay so what you are giving the data inside the optical fiber in the form of light only that's why the theta required more here so NA value is required more here okay that's why the practically we will take out the plastic optical fiber you will get here 30 40 you will get so not more than 30 40 you will get in the in this experiment okay this is about the optical fiber half of the part that is numerical aperture and we are finding out the acceptance angle in the next experiment i will show you the energy loss of optical fiber using the same energy for the energy loss we have to connect the same wire you take out from the scale so I have to connect here photodiode okay so using this multimeter so one side we have to measure here how much current we have another side we are going to match we are going to find out current okay so now how much loss we are going to find out by using the bending okay so internal uh, uh, internal cracks we are getting okay so there are different way we are getting lose uh, losing this uh, optical uh, light so we will going to learn in next experiment. Thank you.